I'm going to take you down to my desk and um, <clears throat> we will get started on a cute little card. I'm actually calling it a Valentine card, but it can definitely be, it's not Valentine specific. So it can easily, easily be adapted to any occasion, a birthday or just a thinking of you. Hi, Sue. Oh, good. I'm glad you found us. We're getting ready to do our card. So um, I was just saying that this card can be easily adapted, and I had not played with this set before um, today. So it we're going to be using Happy Hedgehogs. Who's who's excited about that? Anyone excited? So hopefully my hands won't freeze, and if it does, just come come back later. I promise I will post it. I will get it up on YouTube and post it. Speaking of YouTube, if you guys miss anything, can you do me a favor? If you guys are YouTube watchers, would you do me a favor? So I'm trying to kind of boost my YouTube subscriptions because I don't have very many. And if you could go find me on YouTube um, under Mary Ellen Stites and just subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. I've got some fun videos on there. I was kind of going through them the other day and I thought, well, some of these are really, really good. So, um, I mean, not being not modest, I'm just saying they're kind of fun. And it, like even me, I got excited like, oh, I want to go back and and watch that. So today we're going to use Happy Hedgehogs, but I'm also bringing in a greeting from uh, Celebrating You, the one that says you're on my mind and in my heart. I'm also bringing in just um, the tiniest of tiny stamps from the Rainbow of Happiness, these little hearts right here, because this card, my card is a Valentine card, and I just wanted a little heart, and you'll see why. And that's, I mean, come on, those are so cute, aren't they cute? And then we're going to use the paper um, that you can get for free during celebration, which is until the end of February, the marvelous paper. And we're going to use um, one of the pieces from that because evidently everyone's goo goo about it. So I hope you are too. So let's bring in our pieces. We're going to start with just a card base that is just jade. And it's a standard eight and a half by um, five and a half. Folded in half and bone folded with our bone folder to give it a nice crisp crease. And then we can set that aside. Then I took a piece of the marvelous paper, but I decided that I like this side better. It's a little more natural, a little more rustic. This is um, feels more, um, I'm, I don't want to say the word contrived, um, artsy. And that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for a little more natural and when I say natural, I say like a quartz or something that's found in nature because our scene is going to be outside. So, sorry, that's my driveway chime. The uh, meat, meat guy's delivering meat today. So we can go ahead and add that. Well, no, let's wait. Let's wait just a minute. So this is going to be um, here the, on this kind of quartzy side. And then we're going to start our um, actual image on a piece of a basic white paper that is um, four inches by two and three quarters. And this is where we're going to build our um, Valentine scene. So let's start out with Mr. Hedgehog and we're going to stamp him in Memento ink. Okay, so I am stamping him in Memento ink because I'm going to color him and I'm bringing in, um, I'm going to stamp, um, color him with some of the new um, blends. Hi Jenny. Some of the new blends that are just going to be coming out on the 1st of February. So um, we're going to start with this little hedgehog here and we're going to build our scene. So we're also going to use, I'm sorry, put that away. We're going to use the little mushroom because I just love this little mushroom. How cute is that? And we're going to put that little mushroom up here and you'll see why I'm putting it up there. And then we're going to take the little, there's a little butterfly. And our little butterfly is going to be landing on the mushroom, kind of put it up here. It gives a little height to our card. How cute, <laughs> cute, cute. I think we're done with the memento ink now. And then I'm going to bring in a little bit of um, grass. And I'm going to stamp it in the, on my original, I stamped it in um, granny apple green. So you'll see a little granny apple green on it. But then I changed my color base. I love the idea of Granny Apple Green and Poppy Parade. Do you like that combination together? I love that combination, but um, I changed it. I decided I'm still doing Poppy, but I decided because I'm I decided on my card base being this um, 
just jade that I'm going to do the grass to bring that all together because the granny apple just kind of um, didn't look quite right. Then I'm going to bring in some balmy blue ink and a blending brush. And I'm going to bring in my um, scrap paper, my grid paper, because I'm going to do a little, just a light um, sky. Okay, I'm just going to give it a little bit of color. I'm going to work around. It doesn't matter if I go in and hit something because I'm going to be coloring these images. But I've got some really cute tips for you and things you might not think about um, as you are creating. And I hope that I help you. That's my goal. I'm not just here to talk about coffee and chit chat, I promise you. My goal is to always teach you some fun techniques and I think I will with this card. Um, and so holler out when you see something new because um, there's a couple things that I'm like, okay, that's, that's probably a new idea. So now I'm going to bring in the punch. There's a punch, a hedgehog punch. And I'm going to do some punching. And I'm going to bring in my scraps. I've got um, some soft suede. And I've got some uh, crumb cake and some black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the full hedgehog in crumb cake. Just like so. Okay. This punch is... I want to show you something. This punch is brand new. So I don't know if you can see that, but... It's left a little bit of oil. So when you get a new punch, it's got some manufacturing oil on it. You might need to punch it a few times on some of your scraps just to get that off. Um, it's not on my image here, so hallelujah. Then I'm going to bring in the um, soft suede and I'm going to punch his little um, porcupines. I'm, and they're not porcupines, but um, then I'm going to try to punch some a couple of the little dots. So let's see what happens. It, oh yeah, there you go. So I got two, you can barely see them. They're two little dots right here. So we're going to set that aside and we're going to build our little porcupine. So I saw a cute idea in the catalog and I'm going to try to find it here because here's the, here's the um, page with the hedgehogs on it. So um, I kind of looked at that. Oh yeah, here it is right here. I just thought it was on the back. I saw this little hedgehog here and I love this idea. So I'm going to show you how I recreated it. So I took a folder, I'm going to bring in my mini stamp and cut and emboss, took this folder here and I took the um, dark, uh, I'm going to call them quills for lack of a better term because they're probably, I mean, I know they're not sharp and pokey, but I don't know what a hedgehog's uh, back is called. So I'm going to call it quills. Tell me if you know. All right, so there's that. And that's cute just the way it is, but I think if you come in with your soft suede and a dauber, you can kind of make this pop. And I just went around the edges, and then I laid it down and just swiped. I actually did this upside down, but that's okay. I swiped my little faux quills with the... Um, dauber and it really makes them pop. Let me go around the edge. So, so cute. So there's something that might be new. And then I'm going to work on my um, putting him all together. So we're going to use liquid glue and I'm going to just put his quills on but just by matching right here it's super easy. Okay, cute. Can you see him? Hi Eva. No worries, we're just getting started. We're just talking about the hedgehog. Then here's a little tip that I want to give you. I'm going to place his nose and his eye. And if I was to squeeze this out, let me see if you can see that. If I was to squeeze this out, I would get a pretty big clump. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my paper piercing tool. And I'm going to put a dot right here on his nose. And I'm going to pick up that black and just place it with my paper piercing tool. Now you'll see a little bit of glue. But once, um, once it dries, it dries completely clear. So that's a great tip on placing teeny tiny little things. I didn't have to worry about it getting stuck to my finger. I didn't have to worry about it um, doing anything weird. I could just use my um, paper piercing tool. You, could, you know, we have it on the end of our take your pick tool, but this one that I have here doesn't have it. I have to change it out. So that's why I'm using the, the, um, that one. 
Then I'm going to give them a little bit of a face or a little bit of a mouth, just like in the um, the one that I stole off of the out of the catalog. Give them a little smiley face, and then we're going to. Um, oh, I didn't bring my pencil over. Hold on, just a minute. I'm going to go grab it. I thought a pencil worked really good to do his, um, is my video freezing? If it's freezing, and, and it may very well be my phone sometimes freezes, then just come back and watch it. And I'll post it on my YouTube and then I'll bring it down here. So there gives him just a little bit of a um, cheek. And he's going to be cheek to cheek here. So let's do some coloring on the... Um, mushroom and I'm going to do poppy parade because that's the color that I'm kind of uh, went to go along with that poppy parade and um, the just jade. I don't want to color the whole mushroom. I'm just coloring around some of these dots. I'm going to come across here and then I'm going to bring in my dark poppy parade and I'm going to use the um, artist's highlight places here here, here, where they've already got some hash marks. I'm going to come along here. I'm going to do the underside. And just a little here. And then I go back in with my light and do my blending. I'm going to still leave some of the middle white. But I want to show you something else I do. Because I don't like the harshness of that inside, I will come in with the clear. And I want to break up that line. And I'm just going to do it by going around and it softens that up see how it's see how it softens it up it's such a great it's such a great great um thing to use and then i'm going to come in with some crumb cake um, on my mushroom stem i'm not sure how much of it you're going to see but i want it covered and then i'll bring in my dark crumb cake and i'm going to kind of come across the top and again Following my artist hash lines, I'm good with that. And then we're going to do our butterfly. We're going to make this butterfly um, pool, pool party. And how about a light Highland Tether? You could do this any color you want. It'd be really cute in like an orange. Okay, so there's my mushroom and my butterfly. Here's my hedgehog. I'm going to stamp my Happy Valentine's Day um, greeting. And the Happy Valentine's greeting is from, gosh, I've been using it so much and now I can't remember. Okay, there's my little Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, why I have this out? I'm going to leave that there for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and mount my hedgehog. I think I want them to be kind of nose to nose. There, see how my mushroom just pokes out? So I didn't have to worry about the grass. How cute is that? I mean, seriously cute. So now that I have that done, I'm going to take those little hearts I told you about that I stole from the um, oh, rainbow stamp set. I'm going to bring one out this way and one out that way. And then I have to color my hedgehog. And what I decided to do with the coloring of the hedgehog, let me get some of this out of the way so it's not um, confusing, is I decided to try my new, um, the new blends that are coming out on the first. And they are, um, I'm still getting your comments, so I'm hoping I'm not frozen too much. They are, um, let's see, they are labeled by number. So I'm using 300, 600, 900 and 400 and I'm going to go ahead with the darkest which is the 300 the darkest that I'm using I'm just going to highlight some of these quills okay and then I'm going to come back in with the um 400 and kind of go in between so I'm giving it a two-tone I'm not I don't I want the, some white to still show through 
Okay. And then I'm going to use my lightest, which is the uh, 900, the lightest one that I'm using. And I'm, that's what I'm going to use on the body. And then I'm going to use this one to, this is um, 600. These are kind of meant to be skin tones, but this my little hedgehog has skin too. And I'm going to kind of go around the edge in his ear and then here along his face. And I'm going to go back with my lightest and do my blending. See, it just gives him a little bit of a um, dimension to his head and to his belly. So cute you are. Now I like to, this is kind of my MO, I like to go in with a um, light pool party and kind of go around my images. So I feel like they're not just uh, kind of floating. Doing this kind of quickly. I'm going to do it here too and I, I, I have to be really careful. I'll still probably hit my cardstock. I'm going to go in with my tip. But I want to show you a little tip about that. If you go, oh, I don't really like how bold that is. I'm going to show you um, what you can do. Okay, so it makes me feel like it's not floating. But if you don't like that harshness, you can go ahead and come in with the um, uh, clear blender. This is called the color lifter and just go around the edge. And what that does is it blends that edge so it's not so harsh. And you'll see, it takes just a second. You will, you'll be like, well, I don't really see it. Well, after a second, then that harshness will kind of blend away. You can already see it happening here. It's just softened up that edge. So here's my little hedgehog image right here. So now it's time to put our card together. So I'm bring that in. I'm going to bring in a puppy uh, parade layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere that. Got a little bit of static going on to my puppy. The reason that I like to use liquid glue is it gives me time to move it. If I if I don't have things perfectly straight like there, I have I have time to get it straight um, just by moving it. And then I'm going to attach it to my designer series paper, which is the marvelous, marvelous paper that you can earn for free. And see how that all kind of goes together. And the reason I didn't put this on here is because I think I want to bring in my scrap paper. And I think I want to bring in some white um, crinkle. And I'm going to bring in my light copy parade marker and give it a little bit of a color. Because I don't have any any um, ribbon that is poppy parade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own and I'm doing that by just coloring it. I'm going to color plenty because I've got two cards here. It just takes a second. It kind of blends itself. I probably have plenty now. Okay, we'll stop there. And I'm going to wrap that around. Whoops, I'm going to take this off. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap that around. I leave it attached. I wasn't super worried about my um, the end because it has to be trimmed anyway. All right. And I'm going to cut that. And tie it. I just felt like it needed it, um, some type of an embellishment. I didn't really want to use gems on this card. It just, it feels very natural. I could have, you know what I could have done? Um, I'm just sitting here thinking, and I might do this and then snag a picture. I'm trying to decide if I want a bow. Um, what I could have done is I could bring in some of those pebbles. They would look cute in here. They're kind of natural. So I may try that. Come here, tail. The thing about making a bow is sometimes you just have to fuss it. And if you don't like exactly how it's positioned, my tip is to um, take, I what I did was I used the wrong one to wrap around, 
take um, your your mini glue dots and, pla and place it under there and then you'll get it exactly where you want it. So I want that white to be gone, so I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to make just a tiny little bow. So now my ribbon matches my um, card because I used the Poppy Parade marker. And then I'm going to finish the front off and then we have just the inside to do. Okay, so now we have the inside and I've got a piece right here and we're going to finish it with the greeting that says um, from the Celebrating You that says you're on my mind and in my heart. And I love, um, I'm just going to keep going, <laughs> I love birds. Uh, I mean, hence the nest, right? So I want to put a little bird on here. He's a little heavy for this, but I'm going to put him there anyway. And since we're already going long, I won't color that on camera, but I will. Um, I'm going to make him a little blue bird, a blue bird of happiness. And I'm going to then, um, I'll attach him to the inside of my card. So happy Valentine's Day. You're on my mind and in my heart. Um, thank you for coming today. I'm going to just put, um, I'm going to go back to my desk there, or back to my face, and I'm going to add my host code. Um, if you are interested in the hedgehog or getting anything for celebration, if you use that host code at the end of the month, I send you a six card tutorial. So um, please, um, you know, if you're shopping in need of anything crafty, then um, if you use that, then you get a little extra bonus from me. So, and I appreciate it. So, um, you guys, uh, you have a great day and um, <clears throat> do something creative today. It's a nice day to stay in. It's here in central Illinois. It's um, a little snowy and it'd be a great day to. Um... Oh, good. So Mary Jo's still on. I must not be completely frozen. The pebbles. Here's the pebbles. Oh, I did this earlier for club. Here's the pebble enamel shapes. I just used the take your pick tool and I added a couple I hadn't attached that yet, uh, to the card just to give it some grounding. So thank you. Thank you for um, just sparing with me. You know, technology is wonderful when you can do it right. So <clears throat> it's just the, just the nature of the beast is crazy. So I will let you guys go. I want to thank you for coming and watching the card and uh, keep commenting if you're coming in late. Um, let me know what you think, and um, I will draw on Monday for this card to go out in the mail um, to someone. I will finish the little bird. I'll color the little bird, and then I'll post a picture of it and um, send it out on uh, Tuesday. So um, thank you for coming to create with me. I appreciate you guys. Bye, everyone.